Welcome kindergartners. I am Miss Kay and I'm so excited to be teaching to you today. Let's take a look at our standard that we're going over this morning and we are going over RLK3. With prompting and support, identify characters, settings, and major events in a story. And today we are going to be looking at identifying characters. Okay, students, before we jump into our lesson, let's take a look at our virtual classroom expectations. Remember, students, we always come prepared. We have a positive attitude. We participate. Listening ears and eyes are on the speaker. We sit nicely with our camera on, and we always try our best. If you are viewing this in a classroom or at home, you don't need to sit nicely with your camera on, but I want you to sit up nice and tall, ready to learn. Okay, students, let's go ahead and review our characters. What are characters? Well, characters are the people, animals, or things in a story that can think, feel, and act. So in our story that we are going to be reading today, our character is a dog. So he will fall under the category of animals. So some stories might have animals, some stories might have people, some stories might have things as the character. So we're going to take a peek at our story today and I want you to think about all of the characters in our story and I want you to think about which character is the story mostly about, okay? Let's go ahead and read the book. Abe, the service dog. Hi, I am Abe and I am a service dog. When I was a puppy, my owner told me I would be a service dog for a person who could not see. I didn't know what that meant, but I knew it was something special. Take a look at these illustrations. Where is our friend Abe? Good job, he's outside, right? We can tell he's outside by the tree illustration. There's a fence here. When I got a little older, I was sent away to school. Take a look at this illustration. Does Abe look excited for school? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Good job, he does look happy ready for school. School was hard. I had to learn many things just like you. I had to learn to stop and look before crossing the street and learn what a red, yellow, and green directional light meant and what I should do. What are those lines that our friend Abe is walking on? What is that called when we cross the street with those white lines? Good job, it's a crosswalk, right? It's the designated area where it's safe to cross the street, a crosswalk. I was taught how to guide a person to go left, right, to step up and down, to stop, to move forward, a little, to back up, and much more. I had to learn where I was and how to get back, even in strange areas. Take a look at this illustration, students. Does this look like a busy city? Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. What are some clues that tell you that this is a busy area? Good job, it does. It looks like there's a lot of buildings, a lot of people that probably go to these buildings that might work there, they might live there. It's a populated area. I had to learn how to behave in a restaurant and never ever beg for food. That was hard. 
After a long time in school, I graduated and my trainer introduced me to BJ. We trained together for several weeks and became very good friends. She was really nice and we always spent fun time together once she took my halter off. We shared many years together and had many wonderful experiences. We went shopping, visited friends, ate in fine restaurants, and traveled across the country. I took care of BJ. I knew when she didn't feel right and could tell if she was happy or unhappy, sad, grumpy, or whatever. I would always try to make things better for her. I become a good friend for people in a good family. You really couldn't ask for more. Okay, students, take a look at our last question here. We were talking about the character and the main character. Who is the main character in this story? Is it A, the dog trainer, B, Abe, C, Abe's owner, or D, the teacher's friend? I'm gonna give you guys some thinking time. What is the answer? Good job, students. The answer is B, it's about Abe, right? A big clue for this answer is in our title, right? Abe, the service dog. He is the main character of this story. Abe is the main character. That is who the story is mostly about. Excellent job, students. I look forward to seeing you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Excellent job today. Bye-bye.